But then due to the budgetary constraints, our department may divest certain activities um, that are not focused on the department's core functions. The Hawaii National Guard Youth Challenge Academy in Hilo will be shutting down. Major General Kenneth Hara made the announcement Tuesday as he presented the Hawaii Department of Defense budget during a joint state Senate committee meeting. And as a result of the, the, the budget due to COVID-19 pandemic, um, we are planning to close the Hawaii Challenge Academy on the island of Hawaii in Hilo. That equates to um, about 42 positions. So it's 612 thousand dollars from the state and just about 2.4 million dollars federal. Hawaii state senators appeared to be surprised to hear the news. We're closing down the new challenge um, operations on the Big Island and Kauai. Just Hawaii, the island of Hawaii. It's just Hilo. Big Island. Oh, just not, Big Island. Not Kauai. No, no, no. Yeah. Hawaii. So Sorry. how many, how many um, participants are they in that program now? Uh, this is um, Lou Salaburo uh, with the New Challenge Academy. Currently at Hilo, um, they'll be starting their, their classes next week, next week Wednesday. Uh, it looks like they have right now, um, and, and there's still a couple other, other students that they're looking at bringing in. Um, they're just about 60 students. So 60 on the Big Island is from the entire Big Island or just the Hilo area? Um, primarily neighbor yeah. islands, right? There's I, I think it's Correct. In, they're, within they're, the state. Uh, oh, the yeah. Hilo campus is focused on uh, all the islands except yeah. Oahu. Kalailua just takes care of Oahu. Oh. Sad. Yeah. So well, next year they're going to shut it down. That, that's the correct plan in the governors. I always pray and also continue to support Youth Challenge Academy from this day forward. In 2010, the Youth Challenge Academy started up on Hawaii Island. The program was at first run by the Hawaii National Guard on the vacant grounds of the Kalani Correctional Center during the time it was shut down. Yeah, so ready to check you into a five-star hotel. Yeah. The academy is for high school age youth who are identified as at risk in order to help them become successful and productive adults. Okay, gentlemen, take seats. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Hawaii National Guard describes the academy as a rigorous educational program which develops personal and leadership skills. Two positions that you need to learn. That is position of attention, and parade rest. Cadets are immersed in a quasi-military residential environment. The curriculum integrates classroom work, community service, physical training, and military-themed activities. In 2014, the academy moved over to the Keokaha Military Reservation in Hilo. To give us these kids that, that need just a little extra push and they become very successful. I mean, it's, it's important that we have programs on opposite ends of the island. For years, Youth Challenge cadets have been a lively part of various Big Island parades and community events. Hawaii Island State Senator Lorraine Inouye sits on the Senate Ways and Means Committee. After hearing the news on Tuesday, she had some additional questions for the general. So the budget cut you have, the state's contribution was 612000 but your contribution for federal is 2.3. Yeah, 2.36. And so that's only for Hilo. Just Hilo, correct. Such a big disparity. I think we got more in the Fed, so kind of sad to see that go. Generally, the program is 75, 25. Yeah. <clears throat> in discussion with General Oliveira yesterday, we plan to continue the class that he talked about, about you know the 60 students, yeah. and then. Um, what our fear is, some of the employees may be looking for another job, right, knowing that the program is going to shut down. So what cannot be absorbed at Oahu, as if we start losing and we cannot meet the student to um, cadre ratio, then we'll move those cadets from the island of Hawaii to the Kalailoa campus and plus up the Kalailoa campus. So what's the budget for Kalailoa? So Kalailoa is going to absorb that the next budget cycle. No, so if, it's but going if, to double, yeah. Yeah, but More if Kalailoa is going to absorb it, there's increased cost at so Kalailoa. The so the that's right. The cadre, that's just for this year, right? After that, 
they were only going to recruit, recruit towards the Oahu campus. Oh, so neighbor islands would be out? I mean, no. Previously, before we had the Hilo campus, we was statewide. It's just yeah. the, you know, we, we can go the max capacity at Kalailo is generally, it should be 100, but we generally recruit above 100 because you lose some cadets yeah. through attrition. And then for the island of Hawaii, it's the, they can sleep, the um, building that we built on the island of Hawaii in Hilo is 75. But again, we recruit to more than that and try to right size the number. We we're trying to get the neighbor island to 100 because that's the, the model for you challenge the, the program so it and be the 100. campus is in with um with the national with guard, the national yeah, guard so it's perfect and it's a nice yeah. place correct okay so sad <laughs>